getting into turn three. I think he just was running really fast right there in the car. Just got oh, loose. problems on the racetrack. The 52. Bill Baird. Steve oh, more problems. Cars coming in. We've got accidents on the racetrack. That looks like Leilani Munter right there. Leilani Munter involved. Numerous cars involved in this one. Coming out of turn number two. Here's real time right here. You see Bill Barry gets sideways and takes Steve Blackburn hard on the outside wall. And again, they're going to come on down the hill. And there's so much smoke there, too, Darrell. And you see a lot of guys trying to take evasive action. You know, Phil, they always told us that here come some other cars that just are just, just can't get slowed down. They always told us in the driver's meetings, if you get loose, crank it left and lock it down. Yeah, that's a good view right there of all that smoke, Daryl. So all these drivers coming in here, even though they were trying to slow down, realize these cars are just about just about stopped, and they were trying to slow down from 180 miles an hour. Which side wall? There's another view of Peyton's car. He had a little car. He had Steve Arp in the 20 car right behind him. You see a lot of guys did a nice job moving to the outside of that right. car to avoid Peyton. And then you can see the smoke left of your screen. The caution flag was probably out, and somebody more than likely probably checked up. Well, oh, no. no. There was a contact right there. The 11 into the back of the one. Brian Silas in, uh, in the 11, and the one of Tom Hessert made contact, and that's what started this situation. That's Eddie Mercer, the 51. He may make contact. Looks like. They almost got tied up. It looked like he didn't make contact initially, and it, it maybe got Alley out of the throttle a little bit, Kenny. Yeah, it uh, it was real close. I mean, whether he did or not, but they just kept wrecking. You can see the sun there, too, isn't helping him at all. Yeah. You see Bill Baird sliding, but there was no contact for Bill Baird until later on here. And then the 99 made contact with the 44 Frank Kimmel. Alley spins back up into the racetrack. Steve Arpin runs into her. Now, one Watch of the cars trying to that, continue. That, and Benny Chastain in the 75, he actually bounces off two other cars and then hits the 45 as well. So looks like Benny got three. Yeah. They're heating up already. Whoa. Another problem in turns three and four. The 51. Oh, that's Mercer. Eddie Mercer involved in it. The 29. Matt Carter, Matt Carter Mikey Kyle. Also involved. Ryan Fisher in that 50. Oh. oh, no. And then the 28 runs right into the back of them. Chris Cockrum. 99 John down. Ferrier all them. and boy he got it didn't he Kenny? Yes he did. Oh, oh trouble. Justin Lupton into the back of the 60. Patrick Shelton spins into the wall he goes and now Kimball spins around. Oh, what a big hit on Justin or on the 60 of Patrick Sheltra. Our sixth caution of the day comes out and what a big hit that was from the 23 of Larry Hollenbeck. Looks like oh wow. Boy, that was a lot more than wow. we've seen. Big ride. Looks like he just got down on the apron, Kenny. Is that what it he get Frank Kimmel? Oh, Johnny Miller slides. Joey Miller slides, and we heard smoke coming out of the two-car Gailey. So we're racing to the checkered flag. Oh, oh we got Todd Craver on the road. Oh, oh we got cars everywhere. 20 cars. Coming to the checkered flag yellow. Who's going to get here? Oh. oh, we've got Cleaver flipping down the back straight away. He lands on all four wheels. More trouble on the back straightaway. Oh, the 49 car. Dan Shaver, gulped in flames. Coming to back. the line. Gerhardt's going to get here first. Kill away behind him. Then it's Yaley and Garrity. That's the... Why don't you take us through this first? Tell us what happened to you. Well, I know the 9 and the 60 got together, and I was about through it, and right there you see me get right reared, and then I end up when I kind of just slid backwards a little bit, and... Kind of was about stopped right in this area, and uh, there's gonna be one more coming to hit me, and that's where all the damage was done, right? And about there, Ouch. <laughs> there you go. And that's the first time you've seen it, isn't it? That's the first time I've seen it. Good thing. And there's the wreck right there. Ooh. Bobby Gerhardt just squeaks by too, and man, it's just holding on. Saying a prayer at that point. Yeah, that's it. That's all you can do. That's come out. Probably a little early, though, for guys to come in for those four tires. I think the pit road is open. Justin Boston is making his way to, towards pit road. Let's see if he, he is coming on pit road. Grant Infinger decide he's going to come in, a late decision to come in, as well as when it's best not to beat him to pit road. And look at four and five wide. And Tift has got a couple of cards right behind him. Can Larson get to the corner first? Yo, oh, he does, but it's going to be tight, and we're going to have two cars spinning. Tift is involved as well as the 25 of Boston, and that's going to bring out another caution. Fourth spot, safety car is in. We'll see what happens. 
Nine laps to go when they hit the green flag at start finish, and we are back up his way. mother. That's his mother. And Frank wow. Kimmel. Frank Kimmel gets turned into the outside wall. Caution at inside wall as Kimmel ends up in the concrete, and the yellow comes right back out. And Schrader will be the restart leader. Here's another look at what really happened. You can see John West Townley slip yep. a little bit. There. And he, that checked up Justin, and, and okay, the 77 got up into the 17 and just took off, and then got those two pinched in the wall. Here's an onboard look for you. This is from Grant Enfinger's Watch onboard leader. camera. Oh, near miss here for Grant. Good job getting around there. Frank sneaks around as well. Two and a half seconds behind Brennan Poole and Mason Mitchell. Can he get to the front? Only 14 laps to go. Rhodes unable to complete oh, no, the pass. No, no, Sideways no. off of four. And Rhodes oh, can't save it into the no. wall. We knew it. We seen it coming. Fourth caution of the night as Ben Rhodes went sideways. It looked like he had third. Tip would not. Gets the free pass and will be back on the lead lap. That's Galen Hashler right there. You see Tom Birdie oh. hits him in the back. Now watch. He's not done yet. Here comes the 73 mm. and Dale Shear. Hits him in exactly the same spot it looked like. Stay side by side off a of turn two. Grant Enfinger joining the mix. Pulls down to the inside lane. Perhaps some drafting help for our oh, race there leader. there he goes. He's oh. lost his oh. self sideways. Can he save it? No. There's contact. And we're under caution for the third time tonight. Big oh. crash. Oh, my. That was the 06 of James Swanson who came firing in. He got in the back of a car coming through the gears. That caused the overheating. He got to 230 degrees. The team said, hey, let's bring you back down pit road. Pull it off. And we've got our caution out once again. It's Leilani Monter who hit the wall. That's Buster Graham, the three. 17 car, also involved. On a side draft a little bit off. Who oh, around it goes. That's Austin, Austin Wayne, Wayne Self in the 98. Look out. Back across the track. Big crash as they come toward the start finish line. Oh my goodness, what a hit. Let's see the 48 of Brad Smith. Brad was having a great run, running up in the top 20 on the lead lap. His sixth. And oh, that trouble. Down. Trouble back straight away. Championship leader Grant Enfinger. He's going to. Collects Will Kimmel. Sure is. Watch out. And Clay nowhere Campbell. to go, Clay Campbell. Second caution of the day. Ten laps to go. It happened down the back straightaway. Pat Kurzieski in car number 54 down to the inside of Kimmel. Can he do it down the back straightaway? They are rolling down towards the tunnel turn. I think he's got it. Oh, Weatherman sideways. In a road he goes and takes Kimmel with him. Two cars. Another look. Let's see if we can ascertain. It looks like somebody gets running. Justin Boston, the 25, gets running to from behind. It looks like maybe Bubba Wallace yeah. got into him. Don't know if Bubba had help being pushed and got into the 25 of Boston. It looked like the bottom lane, sort of accordion for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, everybody's wide open at that point on the racetrack. I mean, everywhere on the racetrack, right. you're wide open. Having me up here. What did you see that, that brought on the fist pump? Oh, there? trouble. And we've got issues in the trioval. The three involved, Drew Charlson, the 55, a Venturini Motorsports car up into the wall. That's Bubba Wallace in the 55 car. A lot of cars involved here. Nine. Here of 94 out in front of oh, 94 and hard into the wall goes John West Townley up the racetrack. Went Milka Duno. There was a car on the inside that shot up into the 15 and hard into the wall is John West Townley back into the inside wall now. And the caution is out again. Uh, you know, he left the outside open and it, it actually is going to hurt Tommy Prater uh, more than anybody right there. We see Frank Kim will get a run to the inside there and pull up the back bumper. Whoa. Of Little contact there. Milka Duno gets into the two and around they go behind him. Grant Enfinger caught up in this. Also, Tommy Hebsard, the 77, up into the wall. Caution comes out. More contact. Bolamassis also involved in this. The 19, Donnie Neuenberger. The three of Jude Charlson. And of Eric Jones poke, poke his nose out there. He was running in the seventh spot. Oh, contact. Poker and up into the wall. The 07 involved as well now. 
Brian Coltrader. Another look at it. Down on the bottom of the racetrack, then backs and bucket back up into the wall. Very fortunate we only had a single car incident. At the end of this race, it will be considered a caution free race, but take a look at the 07. Up the racetrack it will go. See the 32 of Mason Mingus goes by and pulls the back end around. The 82 was racing the 32 for position. That's Mason Mitchell in the 82 car. When the 07 came back up the racetrack, he had absolutely nowhere to go. Phil, listen to this one. That is a hard hit right at you. Now riding along, listen to this. Just had no idea that was going to happen. Venerini Motorsports I asked him, can you rank as Corey LaJoy moves to the inside, trying to take that lead away from Scott Legacy Jr. Not able to do it there, but I asked Billy Venturini. I said, how would you Oh, oh and around goes the 22 and the 17 also into the wall. The 55 gets by, that'll bring out our first caution. It looked like Corey got in the back of the 22 of Scott Legacy. The two battling for the lead, they get into the wall. Dylan Kwasniewski gets by. See, Corey went what happened? We're going to see some contact here. You see Steve Blackburn duck to the inside. Then the car behind him looked like maybe may been the 25 car made contact. Then the 35 turned Mike Carmen around right in the middle of all these cars. And look at all, look at the hard hits. Alex Bowman goes up on two wheels. We saw it happening live. Another look at it. There's Steve Blackburn. Now it's going to get turned in front of all these cars. That's what happens when you have big pack racing. There's Steve Blackburn getting turned around. See, Mike Harmon's going to get run into by the 35. Catches Joey Coulter and Drew Charlson up against the wall. Look at Alex Bowman up over the top of the 31 car of Mike Harmon. Getting air at Talladega. We've seen that too many times. In the last couple of years, so. Uh -oh. Oh. Upside, big, big down, upside down over and over the 83 of Mike Afrano. A big, big wreck coming out of turn number four into the grass. He goes another car sliding by. That's James Hilton in the 48 car. Rolling numerous times the 83. Middle of our screen there. He may get a little contact from behind. He gets a little contact from behind. Is that Zach Ralston behind him? and just turns him in towards the outside wall. You see the tire carcass flying out. Let's watch that engine there. You see the slam down to the ground. Now the engine's already pretty much loose. There's the spring sliding out around the racetrack. Look at the run by Bobby Gerhardt. Gerhardt on the outside. Four wide as they come into the trioval. Gerhardt coming through the trioval and he'll win again. Eight time winner, Bobby Gerhardt. Trouble as they pass the cross start finish line. And all sorts of cars out of fuel. Great variation in speed. Somebody got together. They need to slow it down here. This race is over. There's cars flying through here with cars sideways. First one to run out of gas. That pack of three checking up now. Kimmel trying to move to the inside. You see the four runs out of gas. And slingshotting around the outside is Bobby Gerhardt getting win eight at Daytona. Then they just, they just got all jumbled up there. They were four wide with the cars running out of gas along with the cars trying to get to the finish. I'll tell you what, Bobby Gerhardt just put himself in a class of his own. Certainly did. Look at this now. Look at how slow Brandon is right in the middle of the racetrack. See people get turned around right there. How about the job Brett Hudson did with the 09 car? Watch. Take a look at some of the reactions of the teams as they're coming out of four. Top right, Mark Rett, crew chief for Brandon Reynolds. There's Billy Gerhardt, Bobby's brother. You see their crew there. Left side top of your screen. Good place. Yeah, Bobby Gerhardt slows. Michael Levine, the 95, runs in the back of him hard. George Cushman comes along. He'd already committed to the corner. Slides up the racetrack. They all get into the safer barrier. A lot of damage to the five. Bobby Gerhardt, as well as that 95 of Michael Levine. They look at right side of your screen. It's going to be significant hard contact, especially for the 95 yeah. of Michael Levine. Let's hear from Bob. There in the trim spa dodge. Also, Reed Sorensen. Oh, trouble. See, oh, wow. Chad McCombie in the number 10 for Andy Hillenberg Racing goes end over end over end.
saw the 52 sliding. You see the, the 52 is around sideways. He tried to exit the corner high coming off turn number two. Lost a little bit of rear grip. Got sideways in there. Here's the contact with the 16 of Matt Lofton. Chad Hockenbrough trying to stay out of that inside wall. And then a little contact late with Matt Lofton in the 16. Tears the left rear quarter panel off. You see Chad, he just wiggled a little bit. Then got his right sides up where nobody had gone. And it was just the impact from Matt Lofton's car that turned that car. And so when this brought out the fifth caution, we had an amazing battle for the lead. Alex Bowman, Brennan Poole, and Grant Enfingle. End finger all fighting for the spot, but this is why the caution came out. Oh my. Wow. You saw that tire come off, you tire bouncing down the racetrack. Is that the 99 that uh, got together Brandon with Brandon Davis, there? maybe with a 99. That was a white car, certainly. Gonna be another view. Chris is gonna get loose up here. May have already had an issue. I think that was Brandon Davis in the 99 car. <laughs> He's got a long ways to go. 23 laps remaining in this one. Oh, oh trouble. Brown Hal goes Martin. Hal Martin and into the wall. Martin hard into the inside wall. Caution comes out once again. Well, you knew that angle that Hal came off the racetrack, that he was going to make contact with that inside wall. We get another view right here. Well, that's all it takes. And look at that angle now. He's headed towards the inside wall. Had the had the brakes locked up. That thing wouldn't turn. Oh, but thank goodness, barriers. thank goodness for the <laughs> oh, safer barrier. It is great to see the give that that wall has, but still the damage done to that race car. The water out of the radiator me on the outside so I don't have to look to my left very often. Oh, oh, just saw a tire get broken trouble. off. Looked like something happened there. The 94 of Brett Hudson turned around, slams into the wall. The tire came off just before he entered turn three and we could see the outside lining of that coming off. And, the, and listen. Place. This is coming off at turn number four. Oh, he just gets sideways back there and man, there she goes. Yeah. Here it is upside down, actually hit the roof. It looked like on the wall. Yeah, slammed it roof first into the wall. He may have had a little bit of help from behind to get that thing sideways. And then when he got sideways, he tried to correct it. And then when it did, it just moved. Or he's not going to make a move at all. He now can make it on fuel, Gerhard can. Oh, oh trouble. trouble. Got a tire down. Looks got like a the tire, tire goes down. down. Also, the 25 has problems. That's Arpin in the 25 yep, into the wall. Milka didn't make it that time. And this Ooh. time we've got more crashing down below. The 23 of Nick Igdalski. Mary Ave Dufoe is the white car coming down the front straightaway. She was involved. The, fifth, the 15 car, Kyle Fowler, our outside pulse here, the 14. There's another view of it. Coming out of turn. 55 up against the wall. And the Ryan Silas, 11 also involved. Yep. Regular taking place. Even down in the grass. Today on the outside. Yeah, that advice went out the door just a few moments ago. What's Stay that? on the bottom. Well, oh, no. trouble, yeah. trouble. Problems, the 66 of Mark Thompson and Bill Baird to the 52. A hard hit as they go by our cameras. That's also involved, we saw the... There's the Alex Kennedy right there with the 38, 38. car. That was the one that's, that caught the wall just part in of front his, of us. Part of his tailpipes. Kyle Martell with the 43. So that, he's bottom of your screen left. See Bobby Garrett up against the outside wall. There's Patrick Schefter gets into Mark Thompson. There's James Busher. He gets into Mark Thompson. Yeah, a lot of damage on a lot of race cars. Sean Corr in the 82 goes down the track. Here comes Bill Baird in the 52. The five of Bobby Gerhardt. Six of Mike Harmon. Here comes Casey Roderick back to the bottom again. There he oh. goes. Sideways is Roderick into the wall. He goes. Oh, and another crash. Hard into the outside Chad McCombie, wall. Mikey Kyle involved in this. But it was the 51 of Roderick that started it. And then just in front of him, Mikey Kyle, Chad McCombie. As the field makes its way through, we're under our first caution. Uh, oh, I see what happens. He got down on the, the 48 got down on the apron. The 48 got the left side tires down on the apron. And uh, when she, when. And lost control. Overcorrected and, and the car shot right back up across the track into the outside wall. Found it went. Watch top of your screen. 
The green and black car, that's Barry Fisher. It gets a little bit loose. Slides off the racetrack and just turns around backwards the wrong way. These cars are they're the way they're set up uh, when they go on the left side like that. It's just almost it, it, they turn over. It's a, it's it's the way the cars are set up. A violent ride for Barry Fitzgerald in that zero six. There's another view coming off turn two. You know, and he, he, he wasn't in the grass. He was already flipping before he got to the grass right there. So it wasn't a situation where, where the unevenness of the grass. <laughs> no, but Alem also has a win at Iowa on his ARCA resume. We can see that that inside line has gained about a car. Oh, trouble, trouble already. Through the tri-oval. 78 goes around. The 98, they're teammates. It's a big one at Daytona. It all started when the 78 of Cole Powell got turned sideways. Gus Dean had nowhere to go and under caution early here at the World Center of Racing. And the 0-5 got of John West Townley. Got to make sure you give Mark Thompson some room down there. There's some contact. They're not going to survive. Are they going to survive this? They are not. We got one in the wall. Second caution of the day. And among those involved, the 83 of Derek Lancaster got a piece of the action. Mark Thompson, and look at that. Matt Kurzievsky thought that was him in that outside lane. It really causes anxious moments when you lap a car like that. You have to give that guy room down there. You want to stay tucked up with a car in front of you, and you want to stay pretty close to that inside. Yeah. Top six all staying together. Chad Hockenbrough holds down that sixth spot. There's Tim George Jr. Oh, trouble already. Going into turn number one, the 59 slides over the wall jumps over the wall and is going to hit on the other side. How about the 59 of Buster Graham leaping that wall? Remember how much rain we had here yesterday. That's what postponed this rain, this race till today. These cars in the grass. Let's see what happened here. Something happened to Tom Birdie there. He turns into Kyle Martell in the 43 car. And you see the smoke. These guys had no idea. Watch Buster Graham, the left of your screen here. That is amazing that he leaped that three-tier guardrail. And then just about went back over it about, on the other side. Yeah, on the other side, just about got back over it, but it was caught up. Again, Tom Birdie, hard left turn to make contact with some of the other trucks or cars and amazingly over that guardrail on the inside of this racetrack. That looked like a high hurdler there. Yeah, a very good one, actually. Here's another view. Look at how high that car was up in the air. You see the access road. Look at the seven of Brandon Kidd. He, he got up in the air. That access road really caused those cars to get up in the air. Launched the 59 and the seven. Running, running hard into turn number one. Had already cleared the 25 of Gresham. Gresham goes hard into one as well, but slides up the racetrack and catches him. Yeah, just a little bit, but it was just enough. Uh, this racetrack is really, really rough down there. It's hard to maintain the line. And unfortunately, Max Gresham wasn't able to do that. Got into the 0-8 of Casey Roderick and just narrowly avoided it. Gets a good jump. Landon Huffman spun his tires a bit. And the number 25 of Hazard is going to go hard into the wall as we get ready to restart. Four cars are piled up, including Landon Huffman and the number 98 of Quinton Bear. Five cars involved in total. All cars on the lead lap. That's what gets his car rolling down back into the pit area. Not sure if that had anything to do with it, but here goes Hester. Oh, no, it's contact. Townley went right through the corner there. Yeah, John West plowed in there. Looks like that's what got town, or excuse me, got the 25 of Hessert sideways. He rolls up in there, and look, Landon Huffman is on the high side and absolutely nowhere to go. The 22 of Weatherman, it appears. Put Trayson, who's won races in Sprint Cup. Around goes Brad the 99, Jim Trayson. Buster Graham in the 99, running in the third spot, spinning, coming out of turn number four. And the carnage happens behind him. See the 13 of Jeff Burton and balls and uh, really nice. Oh, trouble. Oh, there goes Dalton Sargent right around in the same spot, almost exactly where he spun it earlier. But as he wrecks, then another of cars are going to come in. Look at Haley in the 74. Heavy damage to that brawn. Laps of the General Tire 200. Oh, trouble. And we've got a crash. Bola Mastis is involved. He goes sliding down to the inside. The number 13 of George Cushman hits the wall to the inside. The yellow is out with 10 to go this race. And Josh Williams with one. Now we look back there. You see Terry Jones is on the high side. 
Oh, and Bo got tapped. Looked like maybe yeah. by Kurzievsky, eh? Yeah, and here comes Terry Jones. He, he runs into Cushman as well as possibly even Bo, uh, Bo in the 42. Seven or eight cars got through that pretty well, though. It could have been much worse. Yeah. Get clear of him and do try to do something with Josh Williams. That's Just two and a half laps to go. The spotters have got to be telling these guys. Oh, and Gerhardt gets shuffled out. Arrow hard contact into the wall. The number 14 of Dustin Knowles really slams into the wall. Another car, two cars involved. And Gerhardt is junk. Mark Thompson, the 66 involved. So the yellow flag is going to come out here and the ARC officials are saying to us, because of impending darkness, they are going to throw the checkered flag here. People go by, four or five cars gonna go in and there's his teammate. The number 22 is sideways and it looks like Snyder's gonna spin. Or Majeski does an amazing job getting by. As does, oh! oh. Gus Dean made it through there, but it looks like the 10 and the 6 made contact, and that puts Weatherman hard in to that number 22 of Myatt Snyder. A lot of damage for Kyle Weatherman. And this is where her ride was, as leader Shane Lee was right next to her. Yeah, and he got into the quarter panel, and as she brushed that outside wall, it was the big hit that happened down on the inside safer barrier that caused all of that damage to the front end of her dicky side by side for second you know we mentioned this is only the second oh Bruce goes in the wall as Townley makes contact with the right rear quarter panel there were three wide coming off of turn number two and the wrecks continue as the 15 of Zane Smith hits the wall really hard so Townley the 77 and 15 all involved here is it to pit and he ended up winning two races and at Madison he just had a really good oh another crash as Shane Lee goes around and that's Weatherman so two cars with a spin and Weatherman was running in fourth place Lee in fifth and we are gonna go under our sixth caution of the night they've been going on all day this is in the first few minutes of practice it was the, the three car that lost control first and then really nowhere to go for Nick Higdon to come by in the 69 Richard Hauk was in the three car today just uh, entered this morning and put rubber down way up the on second top. one here we see him up here at the top Oh, and in the back. Oh. It looks like that thing just got loose on him down there at the bottom and shot up the racetrack. And unfortunately, that's a really hard hit for, for the 42 car there. This is Gus Dean's on board. Let's see what the green Toyota driver saw. Interesting set of set of black marks going up towards the wall. So, so look to the far right. We just get to the tail end of that, but you can see those tire marks. That's but very similar to what we saw the 42 of Olamassas. I don't know if there's something, you know, at that at that juncture of the racetrack where these guys are, you know, haven't experienced that being stake. Here we go. Terrio on the bottom side, getting a little push from Herbst. Look like Creed wanted to crowd him down there. Herbst is away. around. Terrio stayed in front, but we will immediately. Hit the caution. Dalton Sargent, second the championship, is one of those going spinning around. Cody Robaugh. Benny Miller in the 41. Cody Robaugh with big time damage. Oh, trouble. Oh, and a big hit that Thompson took. Multiple incidents on this one. LeBeau and on fire, that's Baccarella. A.J. Fike, the 27 car, also with fire trailing. There's the Gree car right there of Gus Dean. So let's see where it starts here. See, there's Leilani. You see the green car. Leilani gets a little bit of a bump from Bola Mastis, it looked like. That turned her into the outside, into Thomas Prater. You can see Terry Jones obviously in front here. And again, it all depends. You see the caution lights flashing, so it will be Terry Jones, our leader, when we restart this race. It would be nice if that out, oh, tr contact. And hard into the wall. And That's it looks like the 33 of Fontaine is on his on side. his lid now. See Bobby Gerhardt also involved. Gerhardt in the five. And we are under caution with five to go at Daytona. 
Anderson. But I don't think Will Kimmel knew that they were three wide. You see him squeezing the 78 of Weatherman. I'm not sure why Weatherman came off the bottom and opened up the bottom and allowed the 55 of Gregson to get there. Yeah, it just looks like a, a an error there. You know, that you got to protect that yellow line here. you got to stay on the bottom. I mean, it, it's just it's tight racing there. And, you know, you're just trying to move up and, and get a little bit of run down the corner. But when somebody fills that gap, I just don't think they knew they were three wide. And it, they need to make something happen. They'll lose that lead drive. Here we go wow. with the move. Oh, oh, trouble. And Holmes into the wall hard. For the moment, we stay green. And now the caution is out. Brandon Lynn is in front. Remember. He got as close oh, as he can. Riley Herbst. Hit. Riley Herbst turning sideways back in there. Got into the side of Tyler Dipple. Oh, and a big hit there. Oh, wow really collects a couple of cars back in there. That will also give you an idea of just how fast they're going. This straightaway here is incredibly long. Comes Terrio to second. Creed trying to hang on to that one, has contact with Brandon Grosso back behind oh. him, and that causes a huge wreck. Tanner Thorson in it, Ryan Unsecker in it, the 33 car of Tyler Dipple in it, Moose trying to dodge it. I see the Cunningham car right there, who got a huge jump. Cedric with a great start here. Cole Custer right behind him is now he'll take a look at the inside and turn one, a touch! He blows smoke off the front tires and blows turn number one, takes Austin Cedric with him. Earlier today, but late this afternoon in qualifying, down into one. John, I think just drove it down in there deep, Chris. Yeah, it looks like he got it. They've got some work to do to catch up to the lead pack. Well, there we Huge go. Wreck. Core, Half, Lamastus, and Doza all involved. Semi big one here at Daytona. Caution number four. The 98 of Half just didn't give him enough room. With a good push from Purdy. And go. they're wrecking. Holmes is going around and upside down. St. Smith around. A big one here at Daytona. But keep in mind, this is not the finish of this race. We will see a one lap shootout to determine this one so another restart coming so who gets the advantage going in three creed on the bottom side big party is going around hard into the wall car goes with him caution and we'll try again bumper to bumper gets tight you can see how much higher his nose was there with no air on it and once cars get together it's over. Thomas Brader hires the 06 and the 9. There's Brad Smith making contact with the 06. There's Riley Herbst, the Nas. Right now, Creed trying to hold up Perth. Oh, trouble! Now they'll crash hard! The big one in Talladega is on the final lap. Will we steal green or go white? It's green for the moment. Green! View of it right there. You see, you see the gap between the 6 of Josh Williams and the 57? He probably got out of the throttle. We, he saw Leilani Munter down on the bottom of the racetrack. Joe got into him just a little bit. Now here's the heavier hit that brought out the caution. Look at that three. There's wide. that three wide racing with no room at all. So Robot took pretty big damage there too. Lamastus is in the 40, 54 Crosley for David Gilliland racing. And then the Bama Buggies number eight for Chase Purdy. Let's see who else might have been impacted. Gus Dean right in the middle, maybe took a little bit of contact. It's like Josh Williams got by. He was on the very bottom of the racetrack. So unfortunate. Gets down there smoothly. See, and we are, we... crashing in the back and it's Brett Holmes who was trying to get to pit lane possibly. Goes around and there's the caution. Yeah, the 0-2 of Andy Sice and the 23 of Brett Holmes both were trying to get the Jeff Stanker was saying that 41 car, their teammate is really fast. Looking three wide down the back stretch. Smith, and then Herbs goes around. Big contact, taking Josh Williams with him. Caution. Overtime number two is coming. Look at the damage on Sean Core's car. That's that wall out of the way right here. It but looks like everything would be fine at this point. Obviously knew he had a problem, and then he tried to come down and get out of the way, and Dimple got Yeah, and Vince, it. I'm not sure he tried to come down or maybe whatever was going wrong forced him to, for that car to turn left like it did. 
That's, that's a car sideways. It's Mer Merkovic sideways. Leilani with nowhere to go up against the outside wall. Merkovic forced her into the outside wall. Then she got hit in the back by the 34 of Jesse Awuji. So that, that was the car we hadn't ID'd yet, the 34 of Awuji. And then Caution number three, Sheldon Creed is in front, followed by Riley Herbs, Drew Herring, Michael Self, and Zane Smith. We've got a restart again coming up in just a moment at Kansas Speedway. Third, and Glasson is going to come around too. Glasson in the top five, and we've got two more into the wall. It's Zane Smith and Gus Dean. Yeah, there was contact between the 32 of Gus Dean. And that took it. Man, this is a big hit. Though. He actually ran. This is his second lap. He had run fast enough in his first lap to be fifth overall. Watch Just this. For a little bit more. It's a little bit loose. You can hear it and feel it. That wow. car hit the headway. This is going to get interesting. Inside of oh. two to go. Hold on. Here we go. Another situation. Another situation where the pushing went wrong. They were being so aggressive and it was working. It really was. It's just such a fine line. And with these cars. And then just a few moments ago, Eric Codell got ran into from behind. Nowhere to go but into the wall. The wall wins. Codell, though, able to climb out of that too. He has a 32 of Gustine pushing. Car off the track. It's Ooh. the 10 machine hard into the wall. That is Tommy Vi Jr., the current Bounty Rookie of the Year leader. New you see the 69 car, lap car, Scott Melton involved. No trouble incident. Contact now. We do have big time problems. It happens so often when, when they try to get by lap cars. You see Jacob Heffernan with a lot of damage. That's Dave Mater, the 63 so ran over the truck for a long, long time as well. There's Connor Hall, the 22 teammates with Jacob Heffner. That lap. You can get up there oh, to the lead pack. Big impact. Chuck Hires is in the wall. They were single file on the inside of the racetrack. A tremendous amount of damage to and we had a little problem coming out of turn number two. That was Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in that number 99. Yeah, trying to make his first ever Daytona start in that Roush Fenway K and N Fords fusion, and uh, unfortunately got a little bit loose coming off two. And, and Kenny's that's Ken Butler the third, the 22 on the outside. Oh, Gabby, Gabby DiCarlo Carlo and Brian Scott had problems right in front of them. We see the car turned around. That's a seven of Kyle Chrysalop. He was running second before he got spun around. Oh, and problems continuing on the racetrack. Yeah, that's Brian Silas right there. Some hard contact. Okay, will you tell me again if my glass is half full or half empty? <laughs> There's another V watch. He's going to come back down and try to get in that hole that's not there. Then you see Matt Carter runs in the back of the 65 of Justin Marks. Bobby Gerhardt does a great job. Michael Annette does a great job avoiding this. And everybody else, it seems like, is involved. Frank Kimmel, he, that white car spinning down through the middle of the racetrack. He spins in between two or three cars. Here comes Ricky Stenhouse right at his front end. He's Frank's going to slide out of the way of him. Yeah, right there, Jason Jarrett. Car sliding. Typically, what we see here a lot of times, a uh, car gets a little bit sideways, you correct to the right, and then a vicious hit. Whenever those cars come off the ground like that, that is a lot of force. Look at the radiator sliding right in front of the car that came right out of the car in the, in the initial impact. You see the debris just flying all over the place. We have several angles of this incident. Now, now here comes Shelby Howard, the 77 car, Christy Passmore. Everybody's got to run. Look at the debris. It's everywhere. Here's a second angle of the crash. Boom. Vicious wow. hit. Very hard hit. And then it comes right across the traffic. Look at that. Almost got hit again. Debris just been there in case he came back up the racetrack. Look at how close Mikey Kyle gets to going upside down here as he turns around. That car up on two wheels wow. and then back down. Wow. That uh, That's not something you want to go through. I mean, in your mind, you think Bill? you're going over. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> trust me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, we, I laugh and I, I refer to Phil. You've uh, you have actually rolled over ten times a barrel roll, going down uh, that back stretch, I believe. Well, uh, coming going into turn going one, into actually. Turn yeah. one. Sure it is. Tough break. Yeah, that was. Uh... Oh, oh God, Haley digging into the wall. She was right in front of Drew Dollar. 
And just as quickly as it happened for DGR Crosley teammate Thad Moffitt. The people and then trouble for Michael Self. Let's take a look at what happened to him in the auto park it replay. He got passed, got up outside the groove, and then just lost it. Michael Self hitting the inside retaining wall. Dave Reef, that's a lot of damage to that car. There's Patrick Shelter, the 8 of 11 of Brian Silas makes contact. Wow! Up into the wall. Patrick Shelter hits him, slides him up into the wall, and then the rolls begin. It looked like the 25 of Ryan Fisher just launched over the 60 of Patrick Shelter. You see that car slid for a little bit right on the right on the roof, right over top. Right rear, and here goes Byron down into the corner. They were already spinning in front of him. Oh, just a little too aggressive too early, right? You needed to be a little more patient, especially, like I said, you've got to work past some of these guys. And the 55 showed it in turn one. He was in a big hurry. Here now we're looking at the 77 and the two. Let's see what happens here. Here it is. Ah. Yep, the two just didn't go to the bottom right there. The 77 held his line and racing deal. Nobody's fault, but but Sarah definitely could have maybe given him a little more room and gone down to the bottom. Nick Sanchez right in the middle there. Yeah, Nick did a great job. Actually, May came out ahead of that right there. Four wide behind no him. trouble. Jack Wood into the wall hard in the 97. We just talked about him. Jason Kitzmiller starts this field and now he is wrecked. This is our fifth caution of the day. It looked like he moved up the race. Oh, oh. Wreck at the front 35. Greg Van Alst goes sideways. Ty Gibbs also involved. That's Ty Gibbs inside of the racetrack with a lot of damage. You know, you could just kind of sense it was getting down to. Look at the contact. Oh! Gracie Trotter gets into her teammate, Derek Griffith, then he goes around and they continue crashing. Greg Van Alst, Nick Sanchez. Scott Melton, the 69 car, also involved. Look at all the damage.